This is a great bodyweight exercise to help build shoulder strength and mobility. The Skin the Cat has a very daunting name, but can be made accessible and progressive, so it will suit whatever strength or mobility you currently have. Throughout this video, I'll be using a couple of terms. One is skin the cat, and that is the dynamic movement of going in and out of position. And the second terminology is German hang. Now that is the static hold at the end range position, and obviously requires a lot more strength. It's important to remember, be patient with your progressions. Don't rush these, we have a lifetime to learn. If you are unfamiliar with shoulder extension, it's a good idea to explore that range progressively. I can do that by sitting on the floor, taking my hands behind my back, scooting my bum forwards. If you have access to rings or TRX straps, we can take hold of the rings and step through and give ourselves a little bit of light exposure to shoulder extension. Because our body weight remains the same, we can then increase the amount of load by changing the angle of which we are exposing ourselves. It's important that we avoid pain. If you're looking for a dedicated follow along shoulder mobility exercise video, I will leave a link here. The rings are a fantastic way for us to learn the movement because by their very nature, they move and it means we're less reliant on our shoulder mobility. They're also amazing because they allow us to pass through the center rather than moving around a fixed bar. I've got my weight in my feet and I'm in a passive hang position. That means I'm not trying to create any mechanical tension through the shoulders, I'm just basically hanging out. Through here, I go into an active hang position. So thinking about pulling my shoulder blades down and away from my ears, keeping my weight straight below the bar. I can then kick up into position and hold. Thinking about keeping a nice tight ball, remember, Things which have a smaller lever length will rotate faster and it's a lot less challenging through the shoulders. So I can drive up through one leg, knees tight, and I can come back down. Something really important to think about is that we want to be in control throughout the full range of motion. We don't want to be throwing ourselves into end range positions. Your shoulders will not thank you for that. It's really important that we build up progressively, whether we're just doing a quarter rep, a half rep, and gradually exposing ourselves to more and more stimulus through the shoulders. Again, I'm not trying to find any pain. I'm just exploring these positions. Passive hang, active hang, kicking up, and then as I get more confident, I can start to allow myself to come over the top. Now, as I start to go over the top, I'm going to spot the ground, reach out with my foot, second foot, and then I can gradually allow myself to sit into this position. From here, I can then step out. As you start to build more confidence in these positions, you can smoothly start to bring all these elements together. So, passive, active, kick up come all the way around and as you start to build strength you may want to just put one toe down you may not you may not put one toe down at all and then from here pulling back to your start position at any point i want the capacity to come back to the safety of the floor another progression that we can add is going into the end range and then kicking ourselves back through spending time in shoulder extension but then giving a big boost off the floor to get us back round. So by sitting in this end range position, all I have to do is load through the shoulders, try and keep weight directly below the bar so we're not gonna get too much swing. And then from here, I can jump up, nice and tight, rotate back round. I'll show you that one more time. So stepping through into this end range position, sinking down, feel that weight into my shoulders. Again, I'm trying not to kick from here because what will happen is I'll end, up, I'll end up swinging. So sitting down into this end range position, take some of the load through my shoulders, nice and tight. And then I'm gonna either hop or double footed kick, nice and tight, control that rotation all the way down. This is just a nice way that I like to explore that end range movement, break the pattern down into chunks so we are learning these positions independently, then we can piece it all together. It's a good idea before we move on to the high bar that we use something that is fixed, but is still quite low to the ground. So we're not putting ourselves in a dangerous or precarious predicament. 
you'll see that these aren't quite right or quite high enough for what I'm trying to do, but it just gives you an idea of what you can experiment with and get used to that movement before making things more challenging. Anyway, let's do it. You'll also notice that I'm having to keep my arms quite bent in order to create the clearance. These are not ideal. This is not a perfect setup, but maybe there's something that you have at your disposal that you can explore and play with. Whee! As we get more comfortable and confident with the range of motion, consider moving to a higher fixed bar. This is far more reliant on our shoulder mobility and strength, but it's a great progression for you to try. The same coaching cues apply. Think about going from passive hang to active hang, knees tight and tucked, pulling yourself through and round. Again, at any point, I just want the capacity to pull myself back. It's a German hang if we have it. Knees tucked and tight, pull yourself back round and down. This is obviously a lot more challenging for the shoulder range and strength because the bar's fixed. Knees tight and tucked, rotate round. Remember, at any point, I want the capacity to come out of this position to keep myself nice and safe and strong. Keep it tight, and then if I have it, extend, German hang, tight, pull myself back round and through. There's a great quote, and it goes something like, we don't stop playing as we grow old. We grow old because we stop playing. And this is what this exercise does for me. It keeps me playful, it keeps me moving. And we can often relate to seeing kids hanging from monkey bars, swinging upside down. And I encourage you to incorporate something like this. It combines that strength and mobility that we need as we get older. Have a go, keep it fun, keep it progressive, keep it safe and if you want to check out any further videos, the YouTube algorithm thinks you'll enjoy this video next. Go on, give it a click.